Hey, purpose seekers and healers. It's me, Unfounded, over at Unfounded Purpose Podcasting, for which I call it. Thank you for joining me. I just got a message to give you all. The full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini message. Mmm, child. I will be giving this message to Sagittarius, which I want to remind you all that you definitely have a new moon coming December 14th, Sagittarius. Yes. Get your new moon on. Set your intentions. Recreate yourselves. Yes. I'm just on here, just wanting you all to know that despite what's going on in societies, in today's world currently, that if you made it here in December, almost going over to 2021, give yourself a round of applause, Sagittarius. Please do. You've made it. Come on and buy a bow to it. Give yourself a hand. Party with yourself, Sag. Give yourself a round of applause. You still standing. Your first message will be coming from the Earth Warrior cards for which you are. Mm-hmm, child. You know we're here on Earth Warring Things. Mm-hmm. Cosmos, my buddies, my friends. Here with the sign of Sagittarius for their message. Creator, divine guide. Spirit, thank you. All right, Sagittarius. Now, I just want to remind y'all, y'all work with me because I'm still learning too, just as well as you are. With the pronunciation of these names here, I got Padmasa Dera. Out of darkness, the light is born. Mm-hmm. Ain't that something? Out of darkness, the light is born. That is simply beautiful. Let's see what the book guy has for you today. Out of darkness, the light is born. Wild Sagittarius. That's powerful within itself without even getting the God book out for you. All right. The light is powerful enough to survive exposure to the dark side of humanity and remain pure, empowered, and effective. Trust in your spirit's purpose as a light in this world. Trust particularly in your abilities to be pure, order, grace, and light to disorder, chaos, and destruction. The divine is ever by your side and ever within your heart, assisting you with a higher purpose in all ways. Mm. The divine mother in the form of Padma Sandre is La Kashin, the goddess of wealth, beauty, love, and spiritual enlightenment. Represented as a shiny lotus, an ancient symbol symbol for spiritual enlightenment. The lotus rests pure upon a muddy water from which it has grown. Lashima divine lotus flower reminds us that the spiritual light needs material form through which it can manifest itself in the world. 
as if it were divine electricity needing the lamp of the soul through which to give the gift of illumination. Without the lamp, the electricity cannot manifest its power, and without electricity, the lamp cannot fulfill its true purpose. When the oracle of Padma Sandri appears, her message is that you are able to do a lot of good in this world. The Divine Mother will assist you with your purpose so that you succeed, but you must take action. Allow the light of spirit into your soul so that you never again feel that you are doing anything on your own. Remind yourself regularly you have a divine sponsor, guide, coach, partner, and friend with you always. That friend has unlimited resources and the power will of all, the most power will of all. Notice how your confidence to take action increase when you build the belief system within you. How much more security, courageous, and will you become? Part of your spiritual path requires that you walk your talk and live in a way that shows optimism and practicality. When something's not working, we don't need to hide from it in shame. We face it because we have spiritual self-esteem and self-confidence. When we choose courage, we can confront what isn't working and are able to search answers rather than becoming overwhelmed or afraid of any darkness. Remember that the Holy Mother is within you and with you. With your active participation, she will bring you everything that you need to confront and tackle any issue, no matter how intimidating it may seem, one step at a time. Along with the power of your divine connection, you have the intelligence and the ability to find information, to educate yourself, to try out new behaviors, so as to become an active part of the solution for any matter that moves you deeply. Taking these steps will boost your self-esteem and your energy levels, helping you to feel good about yourself and your presence in this world. It's not about being perfect. It's just about taking the next step for you. Trust in divine timing, realizing that there is far-reaching good that can happen through you. And as you continue to be actively engaged with life and your inner divine relationship, believe in what we can and will accomplish together. Through our passionate love affair with the Great Spirit and our adoring devotion to the Earth Mother and her children. Wow. Wow, Sagittarius. That was simply beautiful. To sum it up, have no worries. You may be having some doubt. You may be feeling uh, fear in this situation due to the circumstances and what's going on outside of us. Not necessarily inside of us, but what's going on surrounding us in society now. But this card is here to remind you, don't look in the dark. Look towards the light. You have guidance. You have someone with you. You have it within you. Ain't that awesome? You have it within you. And that's this lunar eclipse here in Gemini. You are to be acceptance to the unexpected. You know my favorite saying is, out of bad things, good things come. So, keep believing in yourself despite what's going on around you, surrounding you, or what may not seem a way out. Or there will there be a way out? There will be. You are the light. You are the way out. How about that? Hey, you got some help, child. <laughs> Anywho, with that being said, Gemini, I'm sorry. We in the we in the lunar eclipse of Gemini. For Sagittarius, you have one more message. 
and I will be using these enchantment map cards to give you a little more direction. Come on, Cosmos. Got me up here talking about Gemini. Somebody got some Gemini around them, too. But notice that Lunar Eclipse, it's time to set your intentions high. All right. Rock bottom. I know it has a number 10 on that. And that's ending the cycle that you once had. Just because it say rock bottom. Don't mean yet the bottom. You just touch the bottom to go ahead and push yourself up. You know how you get in the pool and you and you jump in feet first and you jump in and you pop back up. You hit rock bottom, come on, shoot right on back up. That's all that mean there, child. That's a blessing. But I'm going to get a little more guidance on 10 for your rock bottom. Come on, Jazz. Come on through. Surrender and accept are the keys to freedom. Mm. As, a, as difficult as it may be to accept, it seems that you've reached a point where you can go no farther in the same matter in which you've been doing things. Perhaps you have hit a proverbial brick wall or experienced a deep sense of loss and don't know where to turn. The old way of doing things must be discarded fully in order to move onward and upward. A new direction and a new strategy are called for. The only way out is through surrender. Accept things as they are and admit that you have no idea what to do next. If you wait in the heartfelt moment of release, then the stairwell will appear like magic. And all manner of secret needs will show you the way to higher ground. The rock bottom card is a sign that a miracle is about to occur. But only if you let go completely. Surrender. I told you. You're about to end a cycle at 10. Y'all look that up on the angel numbers and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's your secret need right there. Blessing. And you run around here probably stress. Stop it, Sagittarius. No, stop. No. Tighten up. I thank you all so much, Sagittarius, for joining me to get your lunar eclipse and Gemini messages. I am unfounded at unfounded purpose for which I call it. You guys make sure you stay positive. Heal yourself first. You can do that by simply replacing a negative thought or memory with a positive memory or thought, keeping the negative away, embracing the positive. No matter what might be going on in society, going on around you, change your thought, change your pace. But remember, you're not in a race. Thank you. Till next time.